welcome back uh, in previous uh, lecture we have discussed step up transformer step down transformer magnetically coupled and electrical couple link uh, theories uh, there is one more type of transformer let's see and discuss about this third condition in the transformer however a third condition exists in which a transformer produces the same voltage on its secondary as it is applied to its primary have you heard about it ask yourself in other words its output is identical with respect to the voltage current and power transformer transferred this type of transformer is called an impedance transformer and is mainly used for impedance matching or the isolation of adjoining electrical circuits the difference The difference in voltage between the primary and the secondary winding is achieved by changing the number of coil strands in primary winding compared to the number of coil strands on the secondary winding. So if primary side the number of strands are 10 and secondary side the number of strands are 10 so it is the same voltages will be at each side as we have discussed the impedance transformer. Another application is isolation or solution transformers. If the both have same number of turns, so the the functionality of transformer, as we have discussed, can be two. One is impedance transformer, another it or it would be the isolation transformer. Okay, next slide we will discuss as the transformer is basically a linear device. A ratio now exists between the number of turns of the primary coil divided by the number of turns of the secondary coil. This ratio called the turn uh, ratio of transformer. More commonly transformer's turn ratio TR. This turn ratio value dictates the operation of transformer and corresponding voltage available on the secondary winding. So this is the equation by which the voltages are produced at secondary side so NP primary number of turns divided by secondary number of turns is equal to primary voltages divided by secondary voltages and is the turn ratio so if at the primary side the number of turns are 10 this is a, you, uh, this is uh, the, uh, the question that you can solve now here I am giving you one, one question if number of the primary side are 10 secondary side are 20 primary voltage is, is a 10 voltage what how much will be the secondary voltage or it is a step up transformer down transformer or it is a impedance transformer or isolation transformer so let's see what's your answer thank you okay so answer of the previous uh, assignment was it's a step up transformer the voltage will be doubled at secondary side okay so let's see one example uh, that I have solved for you. A uh, voltage transformer has 1500 tons of wire on its primary coil and 500 tons of wire for its secondary coil. What will be the turn ratio of transformer? TR is equal to primary trend divided by secondary turns. So 1500 divided by 500, it will be equal to 3 ratio 1. So this uh, ratio of transformer 3 to 1 simply means that there are three primary windings for every one secondary winding as the ratio moves from larger number of on the left to the smaller number on the right the primary voltage is therefore step down transformer in value as shown okay here is the second example i have solved for you you can uh, you can see again here uh, if the 240 volt rms is applied to the primary winding of transformer above what will be the resulting secondary no load voltages so you can see yourself this is a very simple example okay transformer action finally we will discuss transformer action what is action of transformer primary and secondary windings are electrically isolated then how secondary voltage is induced so uh, you have finished uh, uh, theory of transformer so you have you should be able to answer this question if you are not able to you have a confusion you have to go back to the my previous lectures we have said 
previously that a transformer basically consists of two coils wound around a common soft iron when an alternating voltage vp is applied to the primary coil current flows through the coil which in turn set up a magnetic field around itself called mutual inductance by this current flow according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction the strength of the magnetic field builds up as the current flow rises from zero to maximum value which is given as d phi by dt so we uh, uh, this is summarizing over previous lecture the transformer is consisting of two coils uh, when and there is a uh, uh, supplied or connected voltage generation side or uh, source side is vp the current will flow that will produce a flux and this flux will cut the coils of the second winding through mutual inductance emf will be produced and the voltage will induce in the second divide so this is the end thank you very much